Spark Universe have finally made a full release version of their Insane Craft pack. Now, a couple of issues. I have rather powerful computer and um, not very good FPS when <laughs> walking about, uh, let alone actually playing the game. So, let's try and make the game look better, shall we? This is gonna be really dumb. But there's a couple things I've noticed right off the bat is this is very much so an optimized version of the mod pack uh, in comparison to the one I've created. I mean, I'm actually surprised. This is running pretty well. Um, but for most of the users out there that want to download this, you are gonna need a very powerful computer. I have an RTX 2060, so you're gonna need the, at least an RTX in this computer. Um, and I have six gigs of VRAM in it. That's a lot of power and, oh, wait. Okay, so that's interesting. They've sort of added the stuff that was, ooh. Oh, okay. I mean, that's to be expected. Stuff as are to be expected. As you guys can see, they have compensated well, I had to compensate for the amount of stuff that's in this pack. And that means graphics are completely on the lower settings. So we're going to have to try and fix that ourselves and add Optifine. Okay, so Optifine has been added. And if we go to, there we go, shaders. So that's the first step. But do we see any real FPS improvement? No. That's the answer, it's just no. But let's make this comparison fair. Let's see if we get a real frame improvement here. Uh, no. Our frame rate is actually worse. Yeah, that's not so good, huh? So there could be, yeah, so there's one problem that we're having right now. We're using seven gigabytes of memory just walking around the world and we've only allocated eight gigabytes. So maybe it's trying to limit it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upgrade the RAM amount that we have allocated to the game. Because if you see on the top right, it says I'm using 90% of my memory and it's not doing good. It's suffering right now. And another thing we can do actually to fix this is if we go to options and set the difficulty to peaceful uh, like that there's a lot less entities to spawn um, we're still having yeah we're, we're now at like in the 50-ish fps it's still having some trouble okay let's allocate some more memory to the game and let's see what that looks like okay so obviously to improve the game's performance i already set the memory in the profile options to eight gigabytes so what i'm gonna do I'm gonna put it up to max. I wanna see how this performs now. Okay, now we're just about ready <laughs> to start putting some shaders in here. Okay, so these are the ones I really wanna try, um, but this one here doesn't properly work. So we're gonna try, first of all, I know that Zeus is gonna have some issues. So we're gonna try Zeus first, if it can load. Let's see if it loads first. Also guys, I will be making a tutorial on how to make a server on this mod pack, so stay tuned for that. And also, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. And make the like button light up like a light bulb, because now it turns white instead of blue. YouTube, why did you change that? It finally loaded. Okay. Yo, this is actually playable. Motion blur is horrible, but this is playable. Motion blur. There we go. Let's turn it off. Yo, this actually plays not that bad. If you guys haven't watched my other video on the RTX Insane Craft thing, it didn't work very well because RTX with my with the pack I was using just decided to fail working on most of the dimensions and it made it look like a really bad junk heap. Now, one of the good ways to test this would be to go to, like, one of the biomes I know doesn't work properly. But I, I can tell that the sky isn't working too correctly, but that's all fixable in settings. This doesn't look that bad and honestly feels more playable, FPS terms, than it did before. It feels just about the same, but with so much better graphics. I mean, wow, this looks so much better. Something just exploded behind there, but this looks incredible. Okay, so one of the things I am going to test 
is the eighth dimension because ooh, oh dear suddenly having some lag okay okay so see how this is like a watery thing that i think is meant to be normal but let's go in the dimension and see okay that's interesting yeah okay so zeus still has the issue of turning the cloud blocks in this game and stuff and other random blocks into water now as you can see it's golden air cloud but in reality it's just like water because the block mechanics are almost the same so this is turned into water when it shouldn't be so this is one of the issues that you'll see with with like resource packs texture packs and even shader packs because they're not meant for the mod pack they're meant for vanilla minecraft so there will be a lot of issues but this i mean this is kind of annoying but i'm guessing some things like if you want to play with high graphics in the overworld i'd be more than glad happy to just play with zeus shaders because this doesn't look bad now zeus shaders are premium shaders you do have to pay for them so it's not as if you're going to get like a free experience out of them. It is paid, so you will have to pay for the for these. Ooh. That's not so good. So the fact it crashes immediately as you exit the overworld, back into or exit the uh, aether back into the overworld, that isn't good. Okay, so it's put us back onto the menu without even an error code. Okay. So while we're here now, what we're going to do is we're going to change over from the Zeus shaders and I'm going to go to my second or to my second favorite comp to my second favorite shader pack, complementary shaders. It loaded. Look at this. This. OK, so this is one of my favorite shader packs of all time. And the reason for that being is just the movement in everything. It looks so beautiful. If you guys want to see a series on Insane Craft, please let me know down in the comments below. Because I will definitely do one. I'm trying to find people to collaborate and work with at the moment. So it would be awesome to find them to find people to work with on this pack. Because that would be amazing. Caves are quite interesting too. Look at this. Completely new type of cave design. And if I take this away, okay, it's a lot darker now. The fog and stuff. I think all of it is quite configurable. There's one thing I'd like to make it to to make happen now on this pack, which I've realized isn't a thing. Let's make it sound a crap ton better. Cause right now Oh Ooh, shenanigans. My camera is down. <laughs> uh, I overheated my camera. Ooh. That's not good. Okay, well, we'll do this bit without the camera. <laughs> okay, so there's one thing we need to do, and that's make this game sound a lot better. Because um, right now it sounds like this. Now let's add those packs and see what it sounds like. Um, my face is still a big no signal sign, so... Requires Orlib. Okay, well, let's go get Orlib. Oh, we'll be right back. Okay, so with better sound, it sounds like this. It sounds way better. If you guys want to see a series on this, make sure to leave a comment down below. I'll definitely do so because this looks like a ton of fun. And now I'm going to show you guys a bit of gameplay for this whole thing.
Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. It's always appreciated around here. And again, if you want me to make a series on this, please let me know in the comments. This was absolutely awesome to play, and I'll definitely play with RTX shaders on the next time. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't have time to do more. I've got college to do. I've got quite literally six tests this week already. So I've got a lot of work to do. Um, and YouTube is a second priority to me right now, so I'm really sorry about that, but yeah, this looks absolutely beautiful and it was a lot of fun to do this, so if you guys have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, and I'll see you all in the next time. Sticko out.